all right the long-awaited part two to the nba 2k16 issues video that i made a while ago now i've been digging around trying to get some clips for you guys to show you guys this part two series video of the series excuse me but i'm playing up against the goat just messing around on blacktop the first thing i want to show you guys is the wide open dunks now the wide open dunks get missed at a high rate you can mess around and miss a dunk every game messing around with 2k same thing with the layups you could be right underneath the basket they'll make you go into this power layup animation where it just throws the ball at the backboard and it goes over top the rim and i'm just like what are you doing 2k but this happens more often than none it happens way too many times auto hesitation what more can i say about this this plagues everybody this this bothers everyone you break your man down you go in one way you cross over you go back the other way they make you stop and this time they made me stop at an inappropriate moment and made me bounce the ball off mj's legs like what like what like why you know what i mean why would you make me stop when i'm blowing past him now he is a good defender don't get me wrong but they just do things to make the defenders like stay in front of you this year i don't understand why the same thing with james harden you guys know he don't really play defense but this game will make him look like a lockdown defender any day and that's a problem right here you can see right here they stop me i'm gonna freeze it for you guys right here they stop me from going past him once again and they just make me hesitate and take a bounce backwards instead of going forwards look at this see and like i said before in my last video angles really don't matter in this game sometimes you can get a nice angle and get to the basket but ultimately it, it it doesn't really matter in this game now i just snagged this off my ps4 so excuse the quality but it happened at a moment's notice and i did i wasn't recording so i was like i gotta get this and show it to you guys because this is another and well another glitch that's basically not being patched and it's not going to be patched because it looks like that they don't give a damn about 2k16 anymore and uh, that's kind of sad because they really have some issues still going on with this game now my logic is if you go ahead and patch the things that's broken in your previous game then your next game you'll have the code and everything right for that so you won't have to run into these issues again now i'm not saying that they won't run into them again but it would be less likely to run into the same issue over and over and over again without finding a nice solution but 2k doesn't think like that instead they'll rather just take you know the next game take all the issues from this game transfer it over to the next game and then patch that and try to patch that and then they still can't patch it you know so it's going to always be a problem with that in the 2k series until they actually buckle down and say we need to do something to get some of this stuff out of the way that we've been having in the game since 2k 10 2k 11 and all those 2ks all right but right here again it's a forced animation sequence curry gets beat and in order to make up for that the game slides him right back in front of me so you can see me take the animation right here to run right past him but the game says nope 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 we got to slide him right back in front of you there's no easy baskets same thing for Kawhi leonard only this time i'm going to do a spin move a perfect spin move used in a great situation and somehow look at this he wasn't reaching for the ball but the ball still bounced off him you can clearly see a lot of space between his hand and that ball. He never touched the ball, but the game with this space warp animation says he touched the ball and you're in the wrong for doing the spin move right there. Now, in any other situation, this would have been a spin off him straight to the basket. But in this game, it's no, you spin you're going to lose the ball. A spin move is not a good move in 2K16. No matter what spin move you have, you're going to bounce that ball off someone 9 out of 10 times. All right? So, next sequence over. Again, we're doing some forced animation nonsense. So, I'm going to cross him over and look at the forced animation. So, Clay Thompson tries to contest my shot and the game says, no, we're going to push you this way and let the offensive player score. That's a problem with the game that I never understood. Now, I did get Curry slipping. I caught him slipping. But look at this. 
Who in the world in the NBA jumps backwards with their hands in the opposite direction of the player and gets bumped out of the way? I mean, like, really? There's no contact going on. You would think Thompson would go straight up facing me to try to contest that layup. Instead, the game just says, no, we're just going to push you to the side, turn you sideways, bump you over, and let the offensive player finish. That's an issue that they still haven't corrected. Now, right here, this one really this, this one really went over my head. I don't know if you guys are going to understand it or what, but check this out. So, I'm going to get Wes down in the post. I'm going to zoom it in for you. I'm going to give him the up and under. He's completely facing the wrong way, but he still can turn around and block my shot with his left hand. Now, mind you, he was already up in the air, completely confused, and yet he still turns around and blocks my shot. This could have been an easy layup, but instead... 2K says, nope, look at this, up in the air, he's confused, turned the wrong way, look, still turned the wrong way, but magically blocks my shot. Can somebody explain to me this nonsense? And then you gotta listen to the devs say all this random bullshit and say, well, you know, technical aspects, uh, shut up. Shut up. Don't nobody need to develop games to understand that you guys are just slapping together certain things within this game, all right? There's no excuse for it. You get paid to make video games. You went to school to make video games. So damn it, I expect you to come out and be able to make a video game. Now, I'm not saying it should be perfect. But when you have NBA Live over here, who've been out the game for a while, having better logic in certain uh, sequences than you, and you've been here every single year, there's a problem. There's a problem. Now, NBA Live, this would never happen. I've never seen anyone jump up in the air on NBA Live, then turn around, not look at the ball, and block it. Let me know down below if they do, but I've never seen it in NBA Live, and I've been playing NBA Live since 03. But right here, a forced animation. Now, I hate this animation more than I hate fanboys. You know, and, and that's crazy, right? This, this right here, it's crazy. So you see me with Kawhi Leonard, right? And I think that's Harrison Barnes. He slides over and just magically strips the ball out of my hand. Look at this. I'm going to stop it right here. He's clearly out of position. The only person that should be able to, to even initiate contact with me at this very moment would be Steph Curry. Now, this is not what's going to happen, though. Check out what's going to happen. He's going to get sucked over to me, and he's just going to strip the ball out of my hand. Now, this happens on wide-open dunks, wide-open layups. Now, I don't understand who in the world on that development team say, oh, yeah, this is a good idea, guys. Let's go ahead and throw this in there because this happens all the time in the NBA. Let's just keep on stripping the ball out of their hands, you know. But I did come out with the W. This video was, you know, just basically showing off a whole bunch of gameplay mechanics that are broken in this game. And I hope they fix it in 2K17. Maybe they won't. You know, you never know with 2K, but I'm out of here. A very easy task, but right here you see the steel glitch. Now, they put a lot of stuff in this game that doesn't make sense. Clearly, you can see the guy in the middle. He's standing there with his hands up. This is an easy way to get cheap steals and win the game. And... Let's go ahead and get into the video. So, when I last left off on this topic, I was talking about, you know, was this a good thing that you approach a 2K only player?